All right. So now for the arms of the Master Grade EX Strike Freedom. We're going to begin with the shoulders. Now, I've already repaired that damage part on the shoulder. And I glued it. So that way it's nice and tight in there. Up to a certain degree. Because it, it needs to open and close, like, as you can see there. So you can have that exposed area. But with that, I think... Oh, first we're going to take the blue parts. That one goes here. This one slides into that right there. Good. Good, good, good. All right. Now we take this detail part that goes right there. This detail part that goes right there. Good. Excellent. This one goes right on top of that. There we go. And this one I had a... Unfortunately, this one um, has the, the nips, the uh, connector right there, so I had to use very, very fine um, 800 and 1000 grit sanding paper to clean it up a bit. Um, but it still shows up, which is pissing me off. But I'm going to push that in there. Almost kind of barely noticeable, I guess. And then we have this part that goes here, like so. That one goes like there, like so. Excellent. Shoulders are done. Now for the arm. I take this off. Put this one here. Put that around there. Check. Let's put that through there. So I'm going to do the other way. Yeah. That one goes there. And that one goes there. And that one goes right on there. And I think we're going to have to push it in. There we go. Nice and snappy. Uh, this one goes... Oh, no. Oh, no, no. I take this. And you know what? I'm missing a part. Now I just realized. Ha-ha! A clue, Sherlock. I'm missing something. And I actually put some stuff to the side. Thinking it belongs to that part. We'll get to that in a minute. This part. This goes right here. Snaps into place. And I take this. Mm, move it around there. And goes around here. Good. Now this, uh, I believe, has to be like this. No, that. Yes, like that. Good. Very good. I'm going to lift that up a bit. Ooh, I knew I was missing something. I knew I was missing something. Hold on a second. Um, where does that go? That goes... First. That goes the other way around. detail part. Again, this one I had to clean it up. That goes there. And then this goes here. But we're missing that. Give me a minute. Oh, there it is. This took me a while to find it. That one goes here. Yeah. Then that goes like that. And there you have it. The arms 
of the Strike Freedom Gundam are now complete. It's so beautiful. I can't believe Oh, I turned off my light. Didn't realize that. There we go. Um, yeah, look how beautiful it is. Really nice. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, I have the parts for the, for the hands, but we'll get to that later on. Okay? Um, these parts are done. Let's move on to the next part of the build. Okay. We're now going to be moving on to the assembly of the legs of the Master Grade EX Straight Freedom. Now, there is something that I am going to talk about, and especially when these etching parts, and that is the one metal part that goes right on top of this. I didn't like it. I know it is part of the design. I'm going to show you right here in the manual. This weird little part here that quite frankly removes the detail of the vent that I so meticulously cleaned and made. Why am I going to cover it with a metal part? That unfortunately removing it from these was a pain in the ass. To, to only to be placed on these that's not going to be shown on per se. I'm personally not putting those on. Because I think it's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Seriously. It is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Anywho. Take, um, actually let's get the manual here ready because I didn't actually open it up a bit. Yeah, here we go. Um, I did go on ahead to open up the the part of the back leg of the of the calf armor here, so I can put. Whoops, <laughs> I made a mess right now. Ah, I'm gonna make a mess anyway. Um, to put on these parts that have to be put inside, and I'm gonna put these on right now. So we have this part that goes right on top of this. This one goes here, and that one goes. Whoops, there. Ah! Come on. There. So it looks like that. Now, let me take this. Screws back here. Snaps into... Pushes into place. Let me take this. There's a notch there. It goes into that right there. We have to... Lift it up to push it in if you have to. And I have this. And there's these little hole light there uh, that you can push it in there. However, I've had problems putting it in. And I don't understand it as to why this thing doesn't want to go in. There is a gap there. But it doesn't want to go in until you only make some sort of force. Yeah, and it doesn't come, and it doesn't stay on, which is annoying the crap out of me. I I think because I was bending this, I'm gonna do a slight bend right now. There we go. And if that doesn't stick, I'm gonna glue it on. There we go. I guess I guess that's it. All right, that's there. Now we take this detail part, and and this is where I'm where I'm having the look. I'm going to cover all that, and I'm only going to be showing that metal part there. What a waste of time! Yes, I understand. It is part of the gimmick, right? If you're planning to do a diorama showing the inside of the parts, fine. Just a huge waste of time. Sorry to say that, guys. Let me take this. Put that there. Good. And then uh, this knee armor goes here. These points. 
Let's move the bend this a bit. This one goes here. That one goes there. Good. See, that's fine. And this. Here, and then that goes there. And then we have the vents back here. Good. Okay, so we have this one goes here. I think. No. No, oh, I'm sorry, you don't have to put this one on, sorry about that. So this one goes here. Okay, there we go. And this one goes there. And again, a detail part here that I had to put on, covered up by this. I don't know why. Yeah, I think that's wrong. Is it wrong? This way. Oh, now I gotta connect it to that. There we go. Much better. So I don't even see that little middle uh, red part even if you open it. And it's not gonna be seen anyway because you have the uh, the skirt armor over it. Doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Alright, so the leg is done. But now we're gonna work on the foot. Um, I'm going to remove this. Then I'm going to put that here. And then this part here. I kind of like this one. These parts. It goes like this on the side. But I had to be very careful because I need to make sure that the blue was even out like that. And I put this here. Now for this, I'm going to put this around that. Push it in all the way. Excuse me. Put that there. Then push this in all the way. There we go. And put that there. And put that there. Push that in all the way. All right, now we put this here, and we put that there. Good. Very, very good. These are sexy, very, very sexy legs. The most sexiest legs I have ever seen in my entire life. Look at that. It is a sight to behold. All right. Let us now move on to the next part of the build. Okay. We're going to begin the assembly of the waste unit of the Strike Freedom. Now, here's that part that I did find, which I thought I lost. Didn't paint it, of course. However, I don't have to worry about painting it again, and I'll explain why. First, take this part, put it right over, oh, no, wait, first this. These are the red parts, which I believe one goes here. Under. 
Come on. There we go. Good. Good. Now this, put that right over that. Snap that in. And then we take this red clear part, which is undergated, thank God. And put it right over that. There. Now that looks good. Very good. Um, now we take this part, we put that right on top of that, I believe. Good. That one goes here. Now we have this part. This goes right to this. That and that goes over here. And these two go over here. One goes there. One goes here. Close that up. Like so. And then we take this. Put that here. And then put that there. That completes the front part. Now we go in the back. Oh wait, no. There's more? Oh no, I was right. It goes here. Sorry. Now it goes here. And this goes here. That goes right on top of that. Good. I had these two parts here. I thought it was part of this, but I guess not. So we're going to take those off this side. And that. Open that up. Put that there. little gimmick of this opening up like that. That's kind of neat. And this one over here. That's even neater as well. Nice. Okay. The waste unit of the Strike Freedom is now complete. Good. Let's now move on to the next part of the build.